My phone is the Minister of State for Health, Senator Olori Nimbe Mamora. Thank you for joining us, Minister. Yes, good morning. Good morning and good to have you with us this morning. Now, there's been an outbreak of um, coronavirus in Nigeria and Lagos in particular. Now, what would you want Nigerians to be aware of at this point in time? Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I think, I think the first thing to say is that there shouldn't be any hysteria or panic. We don't need that. We need our people to have correct and accurate information. Now, having said this, Nigerians should not panic. And um, they should look out and continue to follow accurate and correct information that will be issued and communicated to the citizenry through official channels, television stations, uh, radio stations, press releases, and of course, the toll-free line of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. Now, having said that, since the outbreak of COVID-19, that is uh, Corona virus. virus disease in China, the national uh, emergency operation center was at, was uh, you know activated so that multi-sectoral meetings were held for preparedness and readiness for any outbreak in Nigeria. And since this first case has been confirmed, and an Italian from Milan, a businessman coming into the country a few days ago, and uh, took ill, well, not severely, moderately ill, and uh, they tested and confirmed is been taken to isolation center. And the, the key things to note that have been done is first detect, then isolate, which has been done. And of course, contact tracing is what is ongoing right now. That is, trace all those that that incident case came in contact with. And of course, what the man is having now is what is, is uh, uh, quality clinical care. And in doing that, you also want to safeguard the health of the people in the, in the hospital. That is, you want to, sure, you want to be sure that the, there is no hospital transmission. And finally, you want to prevent any transmission within the community. Oh, oh, Don't senator. forget, yes. fortunately, being... Um, apprehended in Lagos, which has a robust preparedness uh, outfit, taking cue from what happened uh, in Ebola case. So, and they, they have an, the, 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 the governor is designated as the incident commander and is working with the emergency operation center in Lagos and, of course, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. So all measures, necessary measures, are being put in place to strengthen what is on ground and ensure that this uh, outbreak is contained. All right, Senator, if, 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 let, let, sorry, let me, let, me, let me interject here, if you, if you don't mind, for a moment. Um, now, this, this man was actually, um, he came into the country on the 25th, which was a Tuesday, and he yeah. wasn't detected until Thursday yesterday. Now, this might cast a little bit of doubt on, on the ability of, of the government to, to curtail this as he wasn't discovered until two days after. How does this, how do you begin to repose confidence in the Nigerian people that we are able to, to
to safeguard them from, from the spread of this, of this epidemic? Well, uh, let, 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 me say, let, me, let me say this, um, which is for most people, don't forget what we call the case fatality ratio for coronavirus. It is still very low. It's just about, so it's about three, three cases out of 100 that may succumb. That is very low. Compared to it, even Lassa fever, Lassa fever you know, has a case fatality of between 15 to 17 percent. That is, if, if 100 uh, the, the patients are infected, then the, the, about 15 to 17 may die. So it's still low. So, and the, the, the point in that is that most people who contact or who are infected may not even uh, manifest any severe symptoms. The, we will have cases that are, that are asymptomatic, that is, they don't, they don't even manifest any symptoms. So there has to be high index of suspicion before uh, you can really, uh, uh, you know, zero, zero in on that patient and then do the needful. But having said that, the advisories and the information that we put out to people, when anybody comes from high risk area, then we expect some uh, self isolation in the interest of that person and the immediate family and all people surrounding him or her. So that is important. Two, the uh, measures that we generally communicate to our people in terms of uh, taking uh, primary responsibility for your health. That is, if you feel sick, you know, contact or go to the hospital so that you can be properly examined and uh, properly um, tested. Then it's also important that if you are manifesting any symptoms like uh, cough, sneezing, uh, fever, and all that, you also need to present early. So these are some of the things, and of course, the personal hygiene, respiratory hygiene, you know, wash your hands uh, and uh, use uh, alcohol beads, uh, sanitizer, and of course, you know, keep away from uh, the crowd or keep some distance from people that you, you know you are likely to, to, to infect and all that. Okay. These are some of the measures which we continue to hammer on and very critical at times like this. All right. Senator Oloni Nimbe Mamora, Minister of State for Health, thank you very much for joining us this morning on News on the Hour.